Ubuntu means white people cannot have Ubuntu. And that means white people are not human. Ubuntu means white people are not human. Yo, yo, yo. I've never had such. Where does this gentleman get this definition? Because I'm 100% sure that everybody knows what Ubuntu means. And that he's doing this on purpose, trying to push some kind of narrative. Because even if you can do a simple Google search on what is Ubuntu, it will clearly show you what is Ubuntu. But listen to these two gentlemen as they discuss the meaning of Ubuntu and that Ubuntu means white people are not human. It's very shocking to say that people can just sit on a public platform and lie and change the meaning of words. But let me know what you think on the comment section. Ubuntu means white people cannot have Ubuntu. And that means white people are not human. It's a staggering remark to, to go along those lines because, of course, as we know from a legal perspective, to m many crimes are, the, uh, are inflicted because the victim is a human. Correct. Where if, if the victim is not a human, if you have this process of dehumanization, if the victim is just an object, then you know many crimes that that could be committed towards white people are not relevant anymore is is this how this theory then plays out absolutely uh, jordan peterson and a co-author showed that um, in countries where genocides happen it is always preceded by this kind of dehumanizing discourse especially when the dehumanizing discourse is coupled with an enhanced sense of victimhood which is victimhood i hope you got that down it's exactly what you have in the case of azanian critical mm. theory the azanian critical theory that is talking about are writings from jordan peterson where he says in most cases where there were genocides, it started with dehumanization. But I'm thinking that uh, there's a lot of factors that could lead these men to speak like this. The desire to spark controversy, this propaganda that there's a genocide of white people in South Africa. Defensiveness of fear, because majority of white South Africans, they don't want equality. They say equality is reverse apartheid. Let me know on the comment section what could be some of the other reasons that are leading these two gentlemen to lie about Ubuntu? Because when we look at history, who has been dehumanizing who for centuries? And I just got back from filming in South Africa. That's an absolutely stunning country. And there's a beautiful philosophy. It's Ubuntu that originated there. And it is the idea that humanity is based on the plural, not the singular. And Ubuntu means essentially, I am, because we are. And so I thank, I thank all of you, and I am, because you are.